Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Oh, good evening, everybody. We've got some nice clear conditions overhead right now. Not really a whole lot of cloud cover happening at all. And you can see the sun right off to the top part of your frame there. Uh, looks like we got a little Vaseline on the lens here. Kind of blurry, but either way, good enough to show off some very clear skies overhead. Thanks to that Sky Tracker network on top of the historic Hotel Settles in Big Spring. We've got a good look at those clear skies out there. Now, looks can be a little bit deceiving. Cooler temperatures are around here in West Texas and actually for the entire state of Texas for the most part. Odessa Midland dropping off by 17 degrees over this time yesterday. We're down 15 off to our north in Lubbock. So it is significantly cooler than it was yesterday. But honestly, yesterday we broke a high temperature record. So the fact that we're a little bit cooler today is really not saying too much. We only dropped down to average for this time of year. 83 degrees, our high temperature for Odessa Midland with that normal temperature coming in right at 83. Our lows at 63 degrees this morning still coming in substantially warmer than our low temperatures should be. For for this time of year, but by the time we get to tomorrow morning, some of that cooler air will settle in and it'll affect our low temperatures for tomorrow morning. And we do have a lot of sunshine out there, not a lot of activity at all on the satellite and radar. In fact, the only thing that's letting us know this is a moving satellite and radar loop is this cloud cover off to our east in San Angelo. But aside from that, really just some very clear conditions, an almost picture perfect day, depending on what your tastes are. But for me, I like temperatures to be in the low 80s. I like a lot of sunshine. It leads you to to either wear jeans or shorts or long sleeve shirts or short sleeve shirts. It doesn't even matter. By the time we get to tomorrow, though, you may want to put on a coat or a light jacket because temperatures are going to be dropping down into the upper 50s to begin the day. It is going to be a little bit chilly, but once we get to the afternoon, we'll start to see our temperatures turning right back around and on their way up and up. Wind speeds will be about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Could contribute to a small amount of wind chill at the higher elevations where temperatures will be a little bit cooler. But aside from from that also another nice day tomorrow. Now we've got a northeasterly breeze right now coming in at about nine miles per hour. That wind pulling in some cooler air, aiding in dropping our temperatures down so much for what we saw yesterday and cooling us down for tomorrow morning. Once we get to tomorrow afternoon, though, notice these wind arrows already changing by we, by the time we get to 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. And as we head to about 12 noon, 1 p.m., those wind speeds across the basin begin to jump up into the teens. Now that's not crazy. We're not looking at a super windy day, but do expect a little bit of breeze tomorrow if you're in the basin. And once we head to the midnight hours Thursday into our Friday morning. We'll see a couple of pockets of elevated wind activity. Fort Stockton at 22 miles per hour at that time, for example. As we head into the Friday morning hours, we'll see the wind speeds picking up through the higher elevations outlining the Van Horn Mountains and the Marfa Plateau pretty perfectly, but those winds should stay below high wind advisory and wind warning criteria, so we're really looking at a pretty calm end to the week. And a lot of sunshine out there again tomorrow. Temperatures as a result of that sun will pick up to about 92 degrees for our highs here in Odessa Midland. Now that's not going to be breaking any records, but it is going to be warmer than the low 80s that we've got going on for today. Now as we head into the evening hours, we may see a little bit of cloud cover popping up for our Friday morning, depending on where you are. But as we continue on into the weekend hours, we are going to be dealing with some very pleasant conditions. Rain should be staying away for the most part for us here in West Texas. But as we head into our Saturday evening, just before we get to Sunday morning, notice a couple of pockets of some rain could develop a couple of isolated thunderstorms along the Marfa Plateau and along the I-10 corridor by the time we start off our weekend on Saturday evening. But before we get there, temperatures are going to be the main story. 92 degrees are high on Thursday, 99 on Friday, then back up to 101 on Saturday. Now the record previously set on Friday for high temperatures is set at 97 degrees, so it looks like we're on pace to break that one. Also, Saturday looks like we're on pace to break another high temperature record. We've got a very small, I'd say 20% percent chance for some isolated thunderstorms to develop Saturday afternoon just because of how warm our temperatures are going to be getting. As we head to Monday, we'll pick up to 102 again, and then a cold front comes through next week, Katie, to give us a little bit of relief, but also ramps up our rain chances. A couple of days with showers in there, a couple of days with thunderstorms before we get to next weekend. Yeah, I like those those uh, rain chances there and mm. several cool days to look forward to. Yeah, I know. If you like the heat, we'll get ready for this weekend. If you like the cooler temperatures, you got a couple of days to wait, but they're yeah. coming. We get a, a little bit of a break from the heat. There you go. Good way to look at it. Yes. Thank you so much, Chase. Thanks.